what's going on everybody rob here aka trav 2323 i was going to show you running the pipe from my solar panels to my house since it's raining nobody know everybody knows don't work in electricity so we're talking about frame pooling today how about that other end of the spectrum frame pooling so this right here is a frame puller i picked up okay don't tell my wife i picked it up for 150 dollars but this was the a uh, piece of the frame system that I couldn't get anything to adapt to okay so if you see here I got a Harbor Freight chain hoist on it bom, bom, bom. a Harbor Freight chain hoist on it my son welded me the piece on there with the uh, I forget what he called that he welded me that on there so I can actually get good leverage here with the chain hoist you see this right here pretty awesome huh now you're asking ask me where i attach this frame system to so i beam on wheels okay this right here is missing the wheel there's supposed to be a wheel right here so you can pull it underneath and you could get a downward pull on it and there's an adjustment for that so you could get a downward pull because you can adjust this right here there's a pin to adjust this so you can get an upward pull or all the way down pull or you could move this in and out to get a completely downward pull now so i paid 150 for that frame machine right there without this hitch and without the part my son welded me this part in right here and it's actually thicker metal than the original one I bought this for $13, I think, this hitch rate, whatever this is called, this cleat, I paid $109 for the Harbor Freight 1.5 ton chain hoist. 1.5 ton is more than enough for these newer cars. These newer cars, the metal is so thin. Okay, so let's go from here. $146 on clearance. The Harbor Freight, uh, uh, what's it called? The Ram, the, the hydraulic Ram, the Harbor Freight hydraulic Ram. 146 on clearance this thing oh i just hit my back on that frame machine oh this thing is amazing amazing it gives you a longer reach than i would think with this pump this is to open and close the pump and these are all the extensions and the fittings you need okay why i do this hand in hand here's the thing i did this hand in hand and what did i hold this with if you don't have nothing to hold this this is just going to slide when you're trying to ratchet down I attached it to my van put my van on here and I attached I chained it to my van I chained it to my van with this right here okay and I put my emergency brakes on my van and the emergency brakes on the Ford Fusion that I was trying to pull the frame out with they're, they're unibodies they're nowhere near the same steel frames that were before or same steel bodies that were before they're unibodies so with the emergency brake on the ford fusion i had one tire off even on a jack a harbor freight jack one tire off i was able to push out under the wheel well enough to hook this up to pull it out now let me show you what i did this right here this chain right here with this grade 8 bolt. These are grade 8 bolts. This chain with this grade 8 bolt went around the bumper frame. It went around because when you get the plastic bumper off and the foam off, that's like on the back of this car, there's a plastic bumper, then there's a foam. You'll have a steel rail that's attached to the frame. So I put this right here, this chain, around that corner of the steel bumper and then i attached it to the chain hoist right here and with this chain hoist i cranked it cranked it cranked it to pull that as much as i can in order to pop the trunk when i got the trunk open i put this hydraulic ram in there there's all the little extensions you had i had to start with the one of the smallest and build up to the extensions here's the actual ram part of it this goes out 14 inches connects to that and you can put all your fittings whatever fittings into it this right here was against the back of the car then i had the little fittings in the inside of the car okay now here's another tool you're gonna be crazy that's not a tool this a four by four block 
or a six by six that's a six by six wooden block two by four and two by sixes this right here i put inside the trunk and i braced it up against the frame inside the trunk where your shock mounts are where your frame is i braced this up on the frame inside of the trunk and then that's what i pushed that out with i put that on the inside of the trunk on the six by six to start cranking and pushing now here's the thing a lot of people say well if you got a one and a half ton uh uh chain hoist you're gonna pull the car you're gonna drag the car if you got a little honda civic or something yes you are probably gonna drag that car we put the bricks under all four of the van tires with the emergency brake on put the emergency brake on the ford fusion with bricks under the three of the tires the four is on the jack now i didn't use all a ton and a half probably of this chain hoist and i didn't use all four tons of the pump i worked tandem i pushed and pulled at the same time even when i let it rest in between when you had weren't pushing or weren't pulling anymore you still heard the frame straightening out now let me show you why i chose the chain hoist i do have one of these right here a ratchet hoist and this has five thousand pounds because it's a cable all right here's the difference this is your strength whatever you're using your strength whatever you're using your strength this lever chain hoist right here is geared down so you have more strength you're like superman with this lever chain hoist it was on sale for 109 dollars you're on suit you're like superman on steroids with this over using your strength with this one right here okay let me show you what other tools that i used okay so this right here is what i was pulling with i was pulling the frame with this right here is what the frame was pulling with but one time i had this hooked on the side of the unibody by the fender where the bumper connected to i had it hooked on that and i was pulling it and i pulled it as much as i could till the steel started to rip because that will tear the unibody that'll tear the kind of the steel so it started to rip a little so i took it off of that then i went to these right here 13.99 you see at ace hardware 13.99 at ace hardware so i put this inside of the trunk and that's where the six by sixes come in i put this let me see if i can get you in there inside of the trunk okay and then this is rated for 1.5 tons i put this inside of the trunk and down in the trunk and i ratcheted that now if you need more room or more space that's where these come in inside the trunk to give you a bigger area to pull and i got like a two foot one over there you put this in and then you can pull more area inside the trunk or if you need a little spot you could use this now i bought this for 13 dollars they sell the auto body ones for like 70 to 80 dollars this right here worked perfect to pull the trunk out on the car if you search trip 2323 frame repair that'll come up in there so i'm going over the rest of the tools that i had here this is one thing that i needed also this is the towing chain hall master from harbor freight this is a, a 15 foot chain i think a 14 foot chain okay let me show you how these chains work the good thing is these chains see how they got the small slit there's not a big slit not a big opening because wherever you need the length of the chain it hooks in, it hooks in on itself see this right here is not going anywhere it hooks in on itself you need a longer piece a longer chain there you go it hooks in on itself and that's the longer chain that you need i had this chain right here and it didn't break it didn't pop there's a, probably a quarter inch screw right there that I had this chain to and this was around the bumper. Now my wife got me uh, WeatherTech mats. I put all my WeatherTech mats on the length of the chain or on the length of the cable or on the length of the tow strap just in case anything popped it hits the ground or it slows down before it don't hit your full strength. More stuff that I used. This is a 5,000 pound tow strap, cranking tow strap. I actually used this before my son made me that piece. I used this chain 
around the i-beam attached to the one and a half ton hitch okay this right here i put around here i put around the i-beam and i put around here and i crank this sucker tight to hold the frame machine from moving all right now i do have frame hammers those are body and frame hammers and body and frame dollies okay and a sledge i use this the most i use the sledge the most but when i had tension on it i did use the hammer and i hammered around the outside of the pieces because you're pushing and pulling and that metal has tension on it and believe it or not if you're just hammering around the edge bing, you'll hear uh you'll hear a ping you'll hear a ping another thing i tried to use is i have all these here all right these are just pieces of metal because with the c clamps i put this to the trunk to try to straighten out the i pulled i c clamped this to the trunk so the trunk could get a bigger pull same action as these right here all right now what i'm dealing with what i'm trying to figure out for one i'm trying to figure out the chain diameter so i could get the chain wheel for right here i need a chain wheel so i can pull down you can move this out and go under the car and you could pull downward and another thing i'm dealing with i'm working on right now i have more of this chain right here and this frame machine has a hole in the back now this is a half inch screw right here this is meant to go into the ground this is meant to cleat into the ground i have a carport i have a one car garage that has a ton of crap in it so i cannot cleat it into the ground so i have to come up with a way that i'm going to secure this and i was actually going to use two chains on this down to one chain with down to one chain oh my u-bolt's not out here with a u-bolt that holds five thousand pounds into a hook and then put a pot a ground pot in concrete somewhere so i could hook the bottom of the frame machine into the ground this u-bolt i tried it will not go in here this right here will clip onto one side i'm a compulsive disorder where even if this is hooked into one side i need it to be completely even for my compulsive disorder to kind of work here so anyways this was my frame pulling i did my first frame pulling with this stuff that i had and it, it took me three hours now it took me three hours if you look up trev 2323 trev 2323 frame pulling and i'm gonna try to link it in there i don't know how if i'm gonna be able to i'm gonna try to link it in there that's how i pulled it took me three hours to pull that frame it was almost perfect the person had to leave if i had two more hours i could have had that thing completely closed and perfect and everything so this is my thing and you know my youtube channel is about everything else i gotta go fishing one reason why i haven't been fishing is because i tore the tendons in my ankle a couple of years back and opted not for the surgery so it's harder for me to walk around the lake but i am gonna pick that up again but uh what i like about this frame pulling is i don't have the mindset to do the fine detailing body work to make it look brand new even though i got all the pieces but i have enough here to keep somebody on the road and make their car look decent all right either way follow the channel subscribe like and share thank you very much Bye bye